Today we're in 2004 Nissan Pathfinder Armada. We're going to be taking a look at it. I'm going to show you how to install the Firestone Cold Right Air Helper Springs. That's what our airbags look like when they're installed. These are going to add extra support for our rear suspension when we're carrying heavy loads. Uh, there's two ways to do it. You can mount these so you can in individually inflate them for uneven loads, or you can run them to one valve by purchasing a T-fitting. Uh, to where you can air both bags up at the same time. They're going to be constructed of an elastic polyurethane, so they're going to be very durable. And have a weight load capacity of 500 pounds up to 1,000 pounds. However, that's not going to increase the weight carrying capacity of the vehicle. We're going to have a PSI rating of 5 PSI up to 35 PSI, and that's going to be per bag. As far as the installation goes, uh, it's pretty simple and straightforward. You just slide each bag inside of each spring, coil spring, and run your airline tubes to the back. Now before we add any weight on our vehicle, we need to get a measurement for our factory ride height. We're gonna take a measurement straight up the center of the wheel to this bottom edge, and we're at about 35 and a half inches. Now let's take one of the front. In the front, we're at about 34 and three quarter inches. Now that we've added the weight of a trailer, let's go ahead and take another measurement here at the back and see how much it's changed the vehicle. It's actually showing 33 inches, so it's dropped about two and a half inches. Now let's go ahead and take a look at the front, see what it's done. And here at the front, it's actually brought our front end up to 35 inches. What is that gonna do to our vehicle? On the back end, it puts unnecessary stress on our rear axle because our axle is having to make up for what our suspension can't handle. For the front end, it raises our headlights up so it makes it unsafe while we're driving. It makes our steering light, it affects our braking, and it affects our tire wear. Now with our airbags installed, we got the weight of our trailer back on our vehicle. Go ahead and take another measurement. Looks like we're at about 34 and a half. So with these being light duty air springs, this is doing great. It's bringing our vehicle back up from where it was. Uh, it's getting us closer to that natural ride height or normal ride height. It's gonna drop our headlights down, giving us a better aim at the road. So it'll give our steering closer back to normal. Uh, it's gonna adjust our braking to where we need it, and it's not gonna wear our tires as bad. To start our installation, there's a couple things we need to do. Go ahead and take your spare tire down. It's gonna make it a little bit easier when doing the install. Second, we're gonna need some airline tube cutters. You can find them here at eTrailer.com if you don't have any using part number F9009. Next, it's gonna be easier to use an extension. Uh, it has a blunt end on it. You don't want anything sharp. This is gonna help get the bag inside the spring. <clears throat> what we're gonna do is we're gonna take a piece of our airline you only need about two inches. We're gonna use the same thing for both sides. I'm gonna cut off a spot like that. We're gonna insert this in the end of our bag. Make sure you have your little red cap that comes in your kit handy. We're gonna take our bag and we're gonna roll it. We're gonna roll all the air out of it. Like that. Take your red cap, stick it right on the end of that tube. keeps your bag flat. It's a good idea to jack the back of your vehicle up, get your axle, I'm sorry, your uh, your frame up a little bit, kind of spread that spring out a little. It's gonna make it a little bit easier. We're gonna take our nozzle side, that's gonna go in last. We'll take the other end, we're gonna go in this bottom part, and we're gonna start feeding it up to the top. If we come up from the very bottom, there's a large hole down here actually where our nozzle is going to come out, but we're going to use our extension and we're going to start pushing our bag up inside the spring. And you're just going to keep working it until you get the whole thing inside. You want that nozzle to come right down through this hole here. And that's why we're using just this a spare piece of hose here. Just like that. I'm going to make sure that hose is centered inside of that hole. Just like that. And we're going to do that same thing to the other side. To take this hose out and use it for the other side, that copper ring, just take a wrench. You're going to pull down on the hose, push up on the ring, and pull it out. And then you can use it on the other side. We'll take our line. You're going to have kind of a heat shield, the protection for your line. Go ahead and slide that on. Pop it into the bottom of the bag. And you want to push it. It's going to kind of pop a little bit. Push it, make sure it's all the way in. Then we're gonna route this to the back of the vehicle. We're gonna make sure we're staying away from anything hot or moving. 
and make sure because we're coming underneath this axle uh, suspension component here we leave a little bit to give it room to to move when the axle moves or when the suspension moves so it's a good idea to find some factory wiring and follow that wiring back from a passenger side uh, I just ran up right on the inside of this existing line here or wiring went over top of my spare tire bracket here right to the back because I'm going to be mounting my air fittings on this side, I just kept my lines over here. Your kit's going to come with a couple of heat sleeves. They're going to look like this. Go ahead and put those on on your exhaust side here. It's going to help keep your line from getting too hot. If you take this one and run it down right here, it's also going to help protect your line from rubbing right there on your suspension. So just uh, keep that in mind. For my driver's side, again, I just found some existing uh, wiring running up here on my inside of my inside of my frame rail. Followed it back over top of your bracket for your spare tire. And make sure your spare tire is not going to smash it. You have some factory wiring that runs across the back here, right over to my other line. Now our customer is wanting both lines to be run into one, so that they can air the bags up, both bags up at the same time. If you're wanting to keep them separated, your kit's going to come with two air fittings. You're just going to have to drill two holes to mount the air fittings. If you're going to do just one, you're going to need a T-fitting like this. We're going to run each line into the sides here and a single line out. Take a piece of hose like this. You want to make sure that when you're doing this, you don't kink your hoses. Uh, you want to make sure that they're you got loops in them. If they're pinched or anything like that, it's going to restrict the airflow and it, it's going to make that spot in that line weak and it could potentially break or crack. If it does, you're going to be leaking air right there. Since there's nowhere to really mount our air fittings on this hitch, um, I'm using a long bracket. It's a no-drill mounting bracket. Uh, you can find it here at eTrailer.com. And what I did is I just drilled a single hole in it. I'm going to run my line down like this. Take my air fitting, insert it on, put a flat washer on, put it in the hole, put another flat washer on the front, and we're going to put on the nut. And again, if you're one to uh, be able to air your bags up separately, you're just going to drill two holes instead of one single one. I'm going to put about 30 to 35 pounds of pressure in there, in, in the bags, and then we're going to check for leaks. We'll take some soapy water, we're going to spray all of our fittings. What we're looking for is we're looking for big bubbles. Uh, when you start seeing big bubbles, they'll start coming out, you know, in the edges, maybe in the nozzle here where your hoses connect into your fittings. So make sure you just check them all. That'll do it for a look at an installation on the Firestone Coil Right air helper springs on the 2004 Nissan Pathfinder Armada.